Good morning and welcome, Pisces. I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it. Get our universal message. See how we doing on our soul's journey. Got to get that soul's journey, Pisces. My test, my faith has been tested. I've been depressed. I've been going through a lot of personal issues with my family. My children are kind of like turning their back on me. It's like they trying to sink my ass. I'm telling you, it's like they out to destroy me. And you know what I know about it that keeps me sane about it? Because a mother's love is a mother's love, right? But what keeps me sane is that truly deep down in my heart, I believe that the devil is using my children and the people that I love to attack me. Because that's the only way it can get in is through my love. My family my children and it's some painful shit but it's some eye-opening shit i can't get my kids to understand my spiritual journey for nothing in the world it's like they all in the matrix and they love being there it's like they see nothing else but the things of this world and that kind of worries me it bothers me you know i know that i'm just a vessel i, I know that i'm just a vessel you know, the family you born into, the children you have, it's not your family. It's not. And for some of you that may be like, well, what the fuck is she talking about? Like, what I mean by it's like, I'm just a vessel for other souls. To, I was just a vessel for other souls to come to live this physical existence, right? And when I was came through a vessel to experience this physical existence... I really created my own family as I grew and got older. A lot of family, people that I consider family are actually not a bloodline. You know what I'm saying? So it's like whoever light up when you come in the room, whoever's happy to see you each and every time, that's like family, right? It, it's crazy, Pisces. I ain't going to get too deep into it. But I needed to share that because I want to cry because I'm depressed by it. But I, I got a physical idea of what's happening. I'm under a spiritual attack. Period. And, and the entity is using people that I love. My relationship, my children, my family. The only thing that could get close to me is actually using, right? I got a cat. And when I tell you my son come in this house, right? And my cat start doing weird things that he never done before. You understand what I'm saying? He he He's like, like all cats hiss, but my cat got the growling, right? You know, some shit like that. And my son's like, mom, I promise you I haven't done anything to this cat. But I, I didn't want to tell him you got an entity on you, boy, and my cat could see it, even though I don't see it. So what I did is I set my son down in my little sacred space, right? And I began to, you know, do certain things to try to give him strength and, you know, ward off this evil, right? It's all weird, Pisces. There's so much going on, right? But anyway, let me clear the energy. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Pisces, for listening to me on my personal shit. But I had to clear the energy. I hope that didn't hurt nobody's ears. Let's get right into it, Pisces. On our soul's journey, we got a new moon in Aries. And it's like, go for it. Go for it. Go for what you know. Do what you want to do. Do what feels good. Don't think. Just leap. Just take the leap of faith, right? Just take the jump. If you jump, the universe will catch you. Whatever you want to do, it's time to do it. Just go for it, right? No thinking about it. Because when you think about it, you don't even go for it, right? All right. So, Pisces, let's hop into this. Let's see what's going on. In the energy here, we got the magician. It's time to take action towards your happiness, right? Magician, ten of cups. It's time to take action towards your happiness, Pisces. 
take action on your family like I just mentioned. I took action and I know there's something attached to my son and I took action on it, right? And it did. It made me feel happy because I felt like at least it knows that I know you exist, right? My son may not know you exist on him, but I know you exist on him and I know what you want and I know what you're coming for, right? This might be my motherfucker reading, right? And then I got the seven of wands, right? Try to block that energy, y'all, to protect the, the family, to protect the happiness, right? Manifesting it, okay? And then we had the three of wands, patiently waiting to see if I accomplished it. Y'all don't mind if I do this reading on me because that's what I feel. It's my children, right? Waiting to see if that entity has come up off my children so my son could be happy, right? You know, three of wands, it's about expanding your horizon, good things to come, right? Good things to come. So in the past, I was waiting to see if it worked, if my magic worked, right? For the sake of my family, I tried to block that entity out here with the seven of wands to protect my children, to keep my children happy, right? So they could move forward here. I took action, right? The devil in reverse. I'm fighting it. I'm beating it. I'm winning. Shh. I'm fighting it. I'm beating it. I'm winning, right? And I know this ain't the usual type of read in Pisces, but this was coming out. This is what the energy is. This is what I'm called to do, whether it's personal or not. But it feels personal to me, right? And that that go for it. With in that that um new moon in Aries, go for it. That might be for me too. If any of y'all having any experiences with your children, family, loved ones, partners, relationships, whatever, and you feel like, you know, why you act this way? What is wrong with you? I'm telling you. Uh, they doing things that they may have never done before. They hurting you. They um out here, you know, not doing holy things and, you know, just living their best life, right? And then they want to bring that uh around you but see you don't want to deal with that you are living a more peaceful life you don't want nothing to do with this flex world right and you can't really get along there's be a little distance between you but anywho this this feels like my fight right now i'm in that magician energy i'm taking action on my family's happiness i'm trying to ward off all evil entities spirits attachments whatever right and i've been waiting to get confirmation if my little ritual that i did on my child work right on my child right and and this devil come out in reverse here with the seven of wands it's as if yes yes bitch you doing it Keep working your magic. Keep working your magic with the magician. Keep blocking this energy out of your family, right? You got to try to protect your family the best way you can. You got to try to keep them happy. You got to try to keep forward movement. Keep a positive outlook, right? Because this devil energy is definitely trying to attach yourself to your children, your family, your partners, and your relationships. And the reason why it's not for them is for you. It's not it's not after your children. It's not after it's not after the people who living in the matrix. It's not after the people who are asleep to what's really going on in society and in the world. It's after the people who woke. And how what's the best way to get to me, Pisces, right? Myself. Talking about me personally. What's the best way to get to me? Can't get the bitch no other way. I just gotta get attack her through love through love you understand what i'm saying so this thing is using love against me right and i know that but trying to get my children and the people that i love to understand that they think i'm fucking nuts they think i'm cuckoo they think oh you too deep into them tarot cards all oh, uh the spirit starting to attack you know all that dumb ass shit they like to say but what i do is fucking real and what i know is fucking real and once my eyes was open i could never shut them back once I lifted that veil off my eyes, I couldn't unsee this shit, right? So it's like, I can't force nobody to see what I see. I can't wake nobody up. I had to do it in my own time, and everybody else got to do it in their own time. I just want them to understand the concept. If you believe in evil, then you believe in good, and I need you to know that this shit is real, and it exists beyond what you can see, you know? So let me see this magic I've been trying to work, this this manifestation, this shit I've been taking action on. 
has been overwhelming. It's been overbearing with this Eight of Wands. I've had to do a lot to try to take action on this force that I cannot see, right? And I tried to communicate it. I tried to communicate it, right? Oh, judgment. I ain't make up excuses. I went for it. I went for it because why well, I want to protect my child. I'm, I will, I'm willing to die. I'm willing to face the music of whatever, you know, tune coming out of the devil. And I got support. This proves it. I got support. Judge me. My angels are there supporting me on this journey, helping me fight off these entities, right? So judgment come out. They lets me know that I'm supported and they and they know what I'm doing and they see what I'm doing and they support it. And it's like keep going. Keep going to this ten of cups. Keep going to this ten of cups. You made an offer. You made a sacrifice. What did I sacrifice myself? I would never sacrifice a little kitty, a little birdie, or another human being, a baby, none of that weird shit air, you know, that really go on out here. I sacrifice myself. I offer the devil me for the life of a child, right? That was a solid offer because I'm the one you want, right? So it's crazy, right? What else coming with this Ten of Cups here? The Six. Because I'd rather have peace for my child than peace for me. Now that's love. That's unconditional. I'd rather sacrifice myself and give all I got so my family can move forward peacefully. So you could detach. So you could be unbinded to my family. Unattached, right? So it's a sacrifice. Everything's a sacrifice. Seven of Wands. I built this wall of protection. I'm doing my job. I'm trying to protect those that I love, right? Focused on it. Focused on it. Mastering it. Because it's something that must be done. Once you see, you can't unsee. And if you do nothing, it just sits there and never goes away. So what I had to do, I had to focus on how a good way to block out this entity. A good way to try to unbind the attachment, right? So I'm focused and I'm grounded, right, on that situation. Fighting. Fighting. Fighting things that I cannot see. I got the confirmation that I'm protected with the, with the judgment. But I've been waiting because I want forward movement. I, I want brighter days here. I saw that strength card try to come out. Right? I want success. I want this entity to know that I'm here. I want it to see me. I wanted to know that I'm fighting this fight by myself, maybe. Or, and with the other entities I cannot see, that's good. The good ones, you know. I'm going to succeed. I'm going to overcome this. My family's going to be safe. That's what the universe is telling me right now. That my family going to be safe. We going we gonna to do this. <laughs> and this is speaks of embarrassment, defeat, arguments, right? Because this would mean this what I go through with the people that I love. We argue and fight about things that I don't even understand. Shit that's petty. Shit that don't even need to be argued over or fought about, right? This thing was defeating my family. It's still trying to defeat my family. Because what it's saying now, you waiting for success. You waiting for me to go away. You want me to recognize you. Well, I see you. I'm going to bring more drama into your life. I'm going to send more people at you. Right? I want to defeat you. But I'm succeeding, baby. Right? So then we got the six of cups. Me trying to protect my family. Me trying to go from within. Me trying to bring the balance to the physical and spiritual world. Me speaking my truth into this physical existence gives me power. Gives me power over the entity, right? Gives me power over protecting my children or my child. It's a lot of unfinished business here. This is saying... You won the battle, but the war isn't over. We still got unfinished business because although you made a sacrifice to me to try to offer me yourself to bring peace to your family, that's not what I want. I want to destroy you all. 
So I'm not done with you yet, right? You're not done with me. And then we have the devil in reverse. I defeated you once. I already defeated you once. So let's see. Right. I got a clean slate for a while. By using my creative talents. By using my creativity. By having faith. By holding that wand. Know that my breakthroughs are. I'm breaking through. I'm busting down doors. I'm popping ceilings off. Right. I'm inspired to. Because I see it. I know what it is. So that better helps me fight it, right? So I'm trying to clear the slate, right? But it's difficult. It's heartbreaking. It's heart-wrenching. I cry. I scream. And nobody understands me and nobody hears me. And sometimes I feel like that dark cloud lives right over my heart. Because the things my children say and do hurts me. The things I have to do to try to protect them when they hurt me and disrespect me, that hurts me. If you understood that. It's all pain. Knowing, seeing, believing. It's not pretty. But in the end it will be. But right now it's difficult for me, right? It's a big burden. I'm under a lot of pressure. I'm under a lot of pressure, y'all. So let me see. Let me get some universal messages out here. Y'all, this is a reading for me. I'm sitting up here reading myself, right? And I hope you all can understand this. And I hope you all don't mind listening to a piece of what I got going on here. You know, it don't affect me every day. But it just wanted to come out. I guess the universe, they speak on that shit. Because I'm one of the people, I don't tell nobody shit. I don't tell nobody nothing. I just deal with it all on my own. I suffer in silence around this bitch. Right? <laughs> I feel like Ike Turner, I done took on two more kids. The fuck I'm going to do with two more kids? All my kids, damn, is adults for real. And now I got a set of twins. That's three. Hallelujah. You know what? God answer your prayers. And let me explain to you why. When I was a kid, I, I wish when I had kids... I want all boys. Hold on. All right. When I uh, I asked for all boys, I got that. I got that. I got exactly what I asked for. I got four boys and one girl, right? And before I had those kids, I was wishing for twins. I want twins, identical twins, right? I didn't get it. Here I am late in life. I got it through my children. One of my kids had a set of twins that they couldn't care for. Guess what? I was praying for their safety praying for the Lord to put them um, where they need to be, the safest place, right? Guess what? They ended up with me. And I say, Yahshua, thank you for answering my prayers. Even though they wasn't answered in the way I expected them to be answered. Because I didn't expect to be the protector, the overseer, the powerful one, the one who could make it happen. But the universe did. So I feel like Ike Turner. What the fuck I'm going to do with two more kids? But I accept it. I accept it. And and that's what it is. I love my family, right? This thing trying to tear my family down. And it might be some things out there that's probably trying to tear y'all family down too. Maybe you recognize it. Maybe you don't. I know sometimes you be like, what the fuck they got into you? Like, who are you? Like, I don't even know you no more. That's because you don't, right? That's because you don't. And even though I done found a, a new family... That ain't bloodline. I still love my children and nothing in the world gonna stop that. I could let go of cousins and shit, but I don't feel like I could let go of my own children. I don't feel that anything came through this vessel that I could release. So I'm fighting and I'm fighting and I'm fighting. And I don't even know if this is my fight, but that's what I'm called to do, right? So let me get some universal messages for myself. Let me see what the universe feels you know, it's appropriate for me at this time. Things I might need to do or consider. So let's see. We have reflect. May you discern and distill. So maybe I need to shut the fuck up. I need to be more of a listening ear than a running mouth here. I need to have the wisdom here, right? I got to reflect. I'm reflecting off of this shit. And then I'm beginning May you start as if you already begun. And that's what I'm doing. I've already begun fighting these battles. 
Because when I'm aware of them shit, I'm one of them type of people as a Pisces. I'm a Pisces sun, Leo moon, Taurus rising, right? I'm one of those Pisces who, um, I just, if it bothers me, I got to fix it. If it, if it bothers me, I got to release it. It's like, if something bothering me that bad, I either got to fix it or release it. I, I can't deal with it just happening. I have to come up with a solution. So I'm a solution type of Pisces. I, I need the solutions. Clear. I got a fresh start here. May you see things as they are. And I do. I see them very clearly. But me trying to get somebody else to see it how I see it is damn near impossible. So I begun to reflect. To see if I could clear your energy field. Right? Huh. And then I'm trying to find that balance. May you find equilibrium in motion, right? So I got to find the balance in my emotions because my emotions move me because that's what my power is. So Pisces, this was a part of my story here. I hope this resonated with somebody. Look, what's crossing it is beauty. May you perceive nature's artistry afresh, right? So, you know, this is a part of my journey. This is a part of what I'm experiencing, what I'm going through or went through or maybe still have to go through, you know. But this is what it is. I hope it resonated with somebody. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to come back with another one. And uh, I'm going to tell y'all about y'all relationships. I'm going to talk to y'all. But I be wanting to come to y'all on some real shit. I just, you know, my views to drop. I really don't want them to drop, drop, drop. Because I don't want to talk about shit y'all ain't interested in. But at the same time, I'm here to deliver some messages. I I, I just do the read, love readings to keep y'all going. But I really want to, you know, put some power behind you. You know, I want to light a fire on your ass. I want you to be so pissed at me but can't do nothing but hear me out and understand it you know because i like speaking the truth so if i lose views or if i lose people i don't give a fuck for real do i want to make money off of youtube yeah that's the goal but that's not my mission my mission is to awaken souls like mine my mission is to promote self-love and help you become aware of my mission is to try to lift the veil off your eyes so you can see. My mission is to get you on my team, right? That's the mission. Rather I see you, touch you, feel you, whatever. The mission is to get you on my team. The mission is to collect souls like mine, to heal them, to help them be aware, right? So let's get this positive energy from the chakra wisdom. Let's see what chakra needs to be worked on. Or to simply get an inspirational quote here, right? The third chakra is the solar plexus. And this one is relevant to oneness and unity. I accept the oneness of all life. And I know that I am one with all others on this journey. I support them and let them support me. I am brave and not afraid to ask for assistance. I allow myself to empathize and sympathize with others as I choose to see the love in and all around me. I see everything as a part of my own life and I accept others for who they are. I find common ground with others rather than differences as this brings harmony into my life and into theirs. So oneness and unity is our positive of energy, Pisces. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.